Hey everyone, Ed here with Michelle in the Great Indoors, and it's April 5th today, and guess what, Michelle? Scooters is open! Yay for spring and summer! Oh yeah, so I know we've done this place before with a video, but I feel like it's a rite of passage to come here when they just open and show everyone what's going on here at Scooters. Are you ready? I'm hungry, man. I, I haven't eaten like in like four hours, so... <laughs> All right. There's your spring hours, 10:30 to 8 p.m. That's right. And then, that's and then 11. On All the right. Weekend. You ready to go check it out? Yes, I am. All right, let's go. Michelle's looking at the menu that they let you look at, and um, they've made some changes. They've added some things like uh, Diane's saucy fries. But what do you notice different on the menu, Michelle? Well, um, bacon and cheese dog. Yeah. Um, a slaw dog. Yeah. Um, a cardinal dog. Yeah, cardinal dog. A any kind of any jalapeno pepper, pepper dog. dog. Wow. Yeah. As you can see, the selections are vast. Is there a, a second side to it, or is that just that? Like your face. And there's more on the mm. back. That's the ice cream on the back. Oh, it sounds good to me. I'll, got, I'll take that one. They have second. a hot fudge brownie delight. The turtle looks delicious. Turtle Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Strawberry mm. shortcake, a banana split, a grease monkey, a dirt and worm Sunday. What is the dirt and worm Sunday? Uh, you That's know, sour worms. No. Uh, it's gummy. Oh, okay. Gummy. Okay. Yeah. But, all right. But these are all the hot dogs. What are you dogs. leaning toward getting? That's a tough decision right now, but I, I think I know what I'm going to go well, for. So tell us what you want so I can move on because we're blocking traffic over here. All right. okay. I usually get the chili dog. Or, or I think they have the um, the Coney dog. Okay. The Hawaiian dog. Hawaiian dog. All right. And I'll figure out what I'm going to get when I get up there. All right. Like, comment, and subscribe to the Great Indoors. We are here at Scooter. And it's a little tight in here, so you gotta work with the people here. But I love how they have it's decorated in here. Pretty cool. They have these uh, seats that work along the wall, and Michelle ended up going with the Hawaiian dog, and I ended up going with the chili dog. So Michelle, how long have you been coming here with me? Uh, this will be our fourth year coming here. But this place has been around for 24 years. So where were we for 20 years? I mean, we got, <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, tw we got married in 2000, and it took us 20 years to get here, basically. That's weird. I because we don't go to Menor Headlands often. I know? think that's the main reason why it was put here on Heisley Road to get the, but it's become so much more than just a place to stop at before you go to the beach. And I love the decor they have on the wall. All right, Michelle ended up going with the unsweetened Pure Leaf, and they have fountain drinks with Pepsi here, so that's what I went with, and I'll bring you guys back when the food comes out. Okay, the food all came out at one time, and this is the saucy fries, and Michelle went with poutine. It's like a brown gravy, and I think cheese on there, right, Michelle? And Michelle ended up going with the Hawaiian, and you can see there's pineapples on there. Mozzarella and Miracle Whip. Wow. I never had pineapples. You wanted to change your mind. You told us on the camera that you wanted the Hawaiian, and then all of a sudden you changed your mind. Yeah. I said, well, you already said on the video that you're getting the Hawaiian. So what were you going to get if you weren't going to get that? Um, the slaw dog. The slaw dog. What makes this something? Why? Why? What made you be afraid to get this? I didn't think a, a pineapples would be good. Well, mm -hmm. let's try it and see. It if, is good. I want no. Get it. Pick it. Grab it and, and show it for the camera. All right. I bet you it's hot too. 
There we go. The moment of truth to find out if pineapple and cheese go together with a hot dog. Michelle is the guinea pig for you guys so that she could give you her reaction on whether or not the Hawaiian is safe enough to eat, okay? Who's ready for Hawaii? Uh, Scooter. I am. Scooter says. Is that, does that work though? You're not gonna say yes or no or what? It actually does. Yeah. But I never had mayonnaise on my hot dog and pineapple. Oh, I have. I love mayonnaise on my. Do you guys like mayonnaise on your hot dog? I, I put it on there all the time. Okay, now Michelle, I'm gonna turn the camera off and you're gonna take a shot of me trying to eat my chili dog, which is right here, and it's got corn on there and it's got a little bit of kick to it, so I'm a little nervous. Is it going? Okay, here we go. This is uh, the home wrecker version. It's the largest of the large. And you can see the all beef dog in there, and it's got, you know, some. Uh, I think that's like uh, almost like salsa. You know how you get the hot peppers and the chili and stuff like that? All right. Is the chili homemade or? That's really good. Scooter never disappoints. That's not beef though. That's like a pork hot dog though. It's pretty good. Now we're gonna try the fries with poutine. Ooh, look at that cheese poutine. You got that? Whoa. All right. Wow. Tastes like the UP? That was a good uh, call on your part to go with that. Well, I liked them in um, the Upper Peninsula at Kuwait and Casino in Sault Ste. Marie. Yeah. And it was really good because it's a Canadian, it was Canadian Day. Yeah, they do a really good job of um, a poutine up in the Upper Peninsula. And a big shout out to Wilton in real life. Look at that one, Michelle. All right. All right. Look at that cheese pull for Michelle. Wow. I always get the best cheese pull. Oh, yeah. You're the cheese pool master. She's going to get it all in her mouth. I'm trying to decide if there's a site that says these hot dogs are all beef. So I stand corrected, all right? Just wanted to make sure. I'm, I do like a beef hot dog. What, what's your favorite? Do you like a pork hot dog or a beef hot dog? Or do you ever have you ever had a turkey dog before? Uh, no, I never did. No. They're actually supposed to be better for you, but I prefer the all beef hot dog. Put in the comments and let me know what you guys like. All right, baseball season's coming up. The captains are having their home opener tonight at the Classic Ballpark, and then um, tomorrow or on Monday, the, the day of the eclipse. The Guardians are, are going to have their home opener too. So it's going to be a lot of things going on in Cleveland over the weekend. And then you got the eclipse of all things, you know. Total totality darkness. It's going to be pretty epic. Michelle's not interested. She's more interested in that. Those french fries with the poutine. Oh, yeah. So what would you think of your uh, first time 2024 at Scooters, Michelle? That was pretty good. You know, having pineapple on top of a hot dog, never had that before. Yeah. It's something to try and something totally different. And I really enjoyed my chili dog. It really hit the spot. I was hungry and I could not finish. You only ate some of that, though, those fries with the poutine sauce. Mm -hmm. And it does fill you up really quick. Oh, but yeah. um, it was good. I, it was a nice, something to try different. Right. Now, I was bringing it up earlier that um, this is the way to, to Metter Headlands down this way. So we're gonna take a, a, a quick trip over to the Headlands and show what it looks like now. And maybe we can walk off some of this uh, hot dog and fries. Right, Michelle? You got it. All right, let's go check it out. There it is, straight ahead. Headlands Beach, Stop. Headlands Beach State Park. I think this place closes at dusk. And Which is pretty Mom, much Morton Salt. And Morton Salt next door. All right. It's kind of cold out. I don't think there's going to be too many people 
here, but that's okay. It's got easy. some Canadians. Yeah, some Canadian geese are doing their thing over there. All right, I'll bring you guys back when we get parked. All right, we are here and it is cold and breezy. So I hope you guys can appreciate what we go through. And there's some people out on the beach right now walking around. So I don't know how far we're gonna go out because uh, Michelle's got her, her work shoes on and they're not really meant for sand walking. But uh, we're gonna go see how far we could push it. All right. I wanna come back out here. I bought a kite. And I want to fly a kite for you guys. I'm, I'm thinking about buying a kite that has a camera on it. And with that being said, I don't want to buy the kite that has a camera on it until I figure out how to fly a regular kite. It's been years since I flew a kite. And I think that it would be a nice video opportunity to show some uh, aerial footage, you know, how cool it would be to have a kite that has a camera that could look down upon us. That'd be pretty awesome. Anyway, there's the beach. It's kind of desolate over here. I don't even know. You want, hang on. Okay, Michelle doesn't want to go. She's, okay. There you go. All right. I'll do the adventuring. She's got a, her ankle bothering her today, so I, I don't want her to make it worse. All right. Okay, I'm out as far as I'm gonna go. There's an old lighthouse. That's um, Fairport Harbor down there. And if we go further, if we were down there, we would be able to see the Perry, Perry Nuclear Power Plant beyond that bluff over there. And the water, you can actually see some little ducks out there in the, in the tide over there. And it's pretty brisk, pretty brisk indeed. I'll, and I don't know, man, if I could uh, fly a kite over here, I would be lucky because uh, I think I would lose my kite right away. It's so windy over here, maybe a little too windy. Yeah, I like, you know, you need a nice breeze for uh, a kite flying, but this is a little bit beyond what I would need. I don't know how cool it would be to see the eclipse from here. There's the sun up there, right there. But I'm planning on doing it for my front yard and it's going to be, I'm hoping that we have a clear day for it. I would even settle for that, you know, a little bit of chop so we could see a little bit of break in the clouds so we could see the sun at least. All right, well, I better get back to Michelle. No telling what she's up to in the car over there. Oh, those clouds over there look very threatening. I bet you it's raining over there. That's Cleveland down that way over there. Cleveland is to the west and Paynesville, Ashtabula, and Pennsylvania that away. And the great indoors with that of Michelle's car there. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe to us. I do appreciate you guys coming by and sticking it out to the very end with me here. And Michelle, this is a good hike to get out there, I'll tell you that much. But it made it worth it because I knew you guys were going to be here with me to make it happen. Anyway, I appreciate it. P appreciate you guys being here. Like, comment, and subscribe. Some more content coming up. And, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you guys are safe for the eclipse. We love you all. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. And you thought the video was over. It's not. I had to stop here at Pelican Snowballs. This is in Men Around the Lake. We were taking the long way home. And I've never been here before, but um, I want it's like basically uh, glorified snow cones. Only they come in a cup instead of a, a cone, whatever. Anyway, um, I got Michelle the rainbow. It's cherry, pineapple, and blue 
blue raspberry or blue and ras I don't know, blueberry and raspberry. And I got myself the superhero, which is blue, ra blueberry, raspberry, and cherry. All right. Boy, I didn't realize that that could be so complicated. And they got this outdoor eating area. Michelle's still in the car. Like I said, her foot is bothering her today. So I'm going to leave her in the car. I'll bring the food out to her, and we'll show you the, um, the snow cones, or whatever you want to call them, in the car. Snowballs. Pelican snowballs. All right. All right, we got our snow. This is the superhero, and this is called Pelican Snowballs. And Michelle went, she's a rainbows and sunshine person, so I got her the rainbow. It's got every kind of fruit that you can imagine under the rainbow. Ooh, more pineapples. Pineapple, yes, blueberry, raspberry. I think there's some cherry in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I asked him, what is your signature one? And he says that, I mean, they, they pretty much all look like signature ones. Michelle, what's the face for? <laughs> it's a little cold. Oh, well, of course it's cold. It's a snowball. Kind, kind of, you know, it's kind of, you know what, it's not hard. You, you get some ice cones or uh, snow cones or whatever, and they're hard. But these are like ground very finely and they're easy to eat. I kind of like that. You don't have to bite into it, you know? Mm -hmm. mm. The blueberry actually is pretty good. I've never been a big blueberry fan, but I'm starting to like it. Look at that. Nice. We had a long night last night working and Michelle didn't get any rest because she was in a lot of pain last night, and uh, it's kind of carried over today. And she's got bowling later on tonight, so it's going to be interesting to see how she makes it through. Are you still planning on bowling, or are you going to maybe take the night off? I might take the night off. That might be the best option. But, you know, she'll probably end up going down to the bowling alley anyway and cheering her team on. But I'm going to the Piston Power Show with uh, my mechanic, Dave. And uh, he's gonna be, we're going to make a video of the uh, Piston Power Show, and he's going to be my expert on cars. So look forward to that video coming up next. There's mm. lemon lime in here. Lemon lime? I don't know. I, I don't remember. Right there, lemon. Oh, the green part over there? Lime. Does that, does that ruin it for you? No. <laughs> I feel like I'm eating a frozen Kool-Aid pop. Yeah, it's kind of like what it is, you know. I haven't had this. I used to like Slurpee Uppies. Well, this is, you know what? We were the first customers, I think, in here. I think they've, uh, but once they saw us come in, the cars started coming in. They go, hey, they're open. Let's go. You guys, if you're in the area of men around the lake, come on by and try Pelican Snowballs. It's actually pretty good. It'll even put a smile on Michelle's <laughs> curmudgeon face, okay? Mm -hmm. I know she's in a lot of pain, but you can't tell me that this isn't good, is it? It is good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Like, comment, and subscribe to The Great Indoors. Now the video is over. Now, okay? Because I don't know if Michelle's going to finish that. She's putting on a show that she's eating it, but I don't know if she's actually going to eat all of it. Well, I kind of had a big dinner, you know? Well, that hot dog, you went through that like it was nothing. You know. All right, you guys. She's not talking today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.